here we go with the double upload. That's right, guys. I have some content to get out to you before Infinite Warfare, and I am determined to get it out to you. So hopefully you enjoy this gameplay and commentary. Welcome to my Call of Duty gaming channel. I am Nestinator. Now, the gameplay that you guys are going to watch in the background is me using the VMP on the map Aquarium here in this game of Domination. I think you'll enjoy it. It's a nice little fun, fast-paced gameplay. Now, in today's commentary, I am not going to cover Call of Duty or any topics dealing with Call of Duty. I actually want to talk to you guys a little bit about YouTube and the grind that is YouTube and about my humble beginnings and my little bit of advice there for anybody that's thinking about starting a YouTube channel, whether it's in Call of Duty or any other gaming venture. Uh, you know, I do have a few tips and tricks to give you guys, even though I'm not necessarily a big channel. I know I do hide my sub count. A lot of people have asked me before, why do I hide my sub count? I just don't feel like it's important. If you enjoy my content, you enjoy my content. And not only that, I was getting trolled. Uh, by some people that would sub and unsub when I was around like mark numbers, you know, 500 someone would unsub and I'd be back at 499, uh, 1000 they'd unsub two people and then I'd be back at 998. So I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna hide the sub count. Maybe one day I'll go ahead and put it back up, but it's not important to me and I hope it's not important to you guys. Hopefully, you guys are here for the content and not my sub count. Now, what I want to talk to you guys about here, if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, uh, first and foremost, you know, when you first start off, some people have the idea that you have to start off with all the best equipment, right? You got to have the best computer, the best capture card, the best microphone, the best editing program and all that stuff. Now, when I first started, I started posting videos uh, on Call of Duty during Black Ops 2 and the videos were just clips. And then I started doing commentaries and I had a really shitty microphone and I didn't get a Blue Yeti until about a year or two after posting videos. And I even had just one guy send me a message and say, hey, you know, why don't you use a better microphone or why don't you use better programs before posting videos? It hurts your quality. But I was just trying to kind of fine tune my craft. And through the years, I have definitely uh, gotten better at my commentaries. I've gotten better in editing and everything else. I'm still using the same editing program actually. When I first got a capture card, I was using the Roxio HD capture card and it came with this editing program which was pretty good I still use it today uh, I definitely want to use something better but to be honest I don't have a great computer for that and uh, I just decided to stick with the Roxio HD editing program that they gave me I did upgrade my capture card however I know I got an Elgato and when I bought my first Elgato literally two weeks later they came out with the HD 60 Pro Elgato and I was a little upset about that because I just spent $200 on the first capture card I wasn't gonna go out there and spend another $200 on a better capture card because I just bought one. So I'm thinking about getting the HD60 probably by Christmas. I know a lot of people out there are all about the 60 frames per second these days. But my note to you guys is this. My suggestion, my tip and trick is you do not have to start off with the best capture card. You do not have to start off with the best microphone. You know, just perfect your craft. Start posting videos, start posting commentaries. You don't need to start off with a bang. You can grind. You could sit there and build a small audience, start putting your gameplays up, start doing what you love to do, and through time you will get better. And you will also get better equipment, and you know, you're just gonna become a better YouTuber overall. Now another suggestion I have for you guys out there is when you do start a channel, do not become a clickbaity or generic channel. What I mean by that is you do not want to spam other people's channels with comments saying, hey, come check out my channel. Hey, you know, I gave you a like and a sub. Come sub and like my videos. You don't want to be that YouTuber. That's going to get you some quick subs, yes, but a lot of them are going to be generic subs, fake subs. And the same thing goes with giveaways. All that stuff are just really fake subscribers. They're not there for your content. Uh, you know, they're there just because they think getting subs like that is the way to go. They want to grow fast. Everybody's trying to ice skate uphill, and it's really not about that. Uh, for me, I do this because I enjoy it. I enjoy the grind. I enjoy the editing process, and I just have a lot of fun doing it. It is a hobby to me. And, uh, you know, I've grown slowly through the years, but it's been fun. The growth overall and just becoming a better YouTuber. So, again, you do not want to be the generic guy. You do not want to be clickbaity. You don't want to follow the trend out there. You want to do something different, speak your mind. Uh, if you like Call of Duty and everybody else dislikes it, say you still like it. You know, you don't have to sit there and be a sheep. You know, uh, this one guy left a comment and I told him, I don't do that stuff. You know, I am definitely not a sheep. I am a wolf. I eat sheep, okay? I'm not a follower. I enjoy to do my own content the way I enjoy to do it. 
And I think that's really important if you're going to start a Call of Duty channel or any other gaming channel in general. So again, guys, don't sit there and spam people's comments. Don't be generic. Uh, just post good gameplay, things that are relevant with the game. Talk about your feelings about the game, uh, what you're having difficult issues with. Uh, you know, uh, to me, that's what it's all about. And again, the gameplay itself. That's very key for me watching any uh, Call of Duty YouTuber is their gameplay. I know a lot of people out there say it's not about gameplay anymore. But for certain, I think, parts of the community, it still is, you know. And I don't watch the pub stomping generic gameplay like Carnage and stuff where they're doing reverse boosting. Or they got a full team where some guy is running around with a bat and gets a nuclear with it because uh, his teammates are allowing that to happen. You know, I just want to see good gameplay. Whether it's you going 30 and 1 or anything like that, and it's just good moves. That's what it's about for me. You know, you can tell when you watch someone's gameplay whether or not they can play the game. And uh, that's just important for me personally. But anyways, uh, I definitely want to know if any of my subscribers out there are new or thinking about starting YouTube. I will definitely give you guys any tips that I've gained through the years. But in the end, guys, thanks for all your views, subscribes, and likes. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one, and I'm out.